You are responsible for a number of things um, for this. At this point in time, you're responsible for arteries and veins. So I am going to remove these lungs. We'll come back to those a little later. But right now, we need a good view of the arteries and veins um, and the great vessels attached to the heart. So, um, the first thing on your list is the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava, I guess I should point out, this is the heart, this is what's left of the lungs. Um, uh, the superior vena cava is draining the blood from the upper part of the body, the arms and the uh, head. So here we have the superior vena cava. Um, branching or draining into the superior vena cava are the two brachiocephalic. So from here to here is a brachiocephalic, that's the right brachiocephalic, and from here to here is the left brachiocephalic. Um, the brachiocephalics divide into two veins. Um, this vein is draining the arm, so this would be the subclavian vein. This is draining the head, so that would be the internal jugular vein. Same thing over here, brachiocephalic, this is draining the arm, so that's left subclavian, this is left internal jugular. Um, we also have some uh, pulmonary arteries and veins. Let's orient ourselves and find those. Here is the heart. Um, you remember from the heart model, this is the um, right atrium. Here we have the right ventricle, right left ventricle and left atrium. This is the pulmonary trunk um, with the blood, where the blood leaves the right ventricle. The pulmonary uh, trunk is uh, arterial. The blood is traveling away from the heart, but it is uh, low oxygen blood, so it's represented as gray on this model. So we follow the pulmonary trunk out here. We end up with pulmonary um, arteries where they're represented on this model over here in the lung tissue. The pulmonary arteries are going to be gray because they are low in oxygen. The pulmonary veins are going to be high in oxygen, so they're represented in red. The pulmonary um, arteries deliver the blood back into the left atrium where it travels through the, uh, from the left atrium into the left ventricle, and then it um, moves out through the aortic arch. So you kind of get a sense of the the fact that this is the arch here. Um, on your list, the uh, next thing is the brachiocephalic. So as the blood travels, it's moving th up through the arch. The first uh, vessel it comes to is the brachiocephalic. Brachiocephalic from about here to here, and then the vessel divides, and we have right subclavian going to the arm, right common carotid going to the head. As we go back to the arch, the blood then travels to the left common carotid and around here to the left subclavian. Um, when I remove the heart, we will see that the, or the arch actually arches around and comes uh, inferiorly through the thoracic cavity. This is the thoracic aorta and then on through the diaphragm, here's the diaphragm, and we see it in the abdominal pelvic cavity as the abdominal aorta. And I think that's everything on your list for the blood vessels of the thorax model.